Colonel? Looks like he wants to talk. We have nothing to talk about. Well, he's got you outnumbered. Let's start from there. Finding ourselves outnumbered, Colonel Thomas, is a fact of life we've gotten used to. With women and children in the pot? I'll go, sir. No. The Colonel and I will go. Let's understand each other, Thomas. Your Indian friend rode out of here last night with no explanation. He hadn't returned. One false move on your part and my men won't miss. Friends, your men have been missing me for years. As far as that Indian boy is concerned, his father was Bold Eagle, one of the bravest warriors that ever rode a horse. And on top of that, he's my adopted son. And I haven't done this much explaining in years. Don't press me, Captain. Anderson. Yes, sir. Windage and elevation, Mrs. Langdon. Windage and elevation. Buenos dias, senores. Yo soy Escalante. Do you speak English? Ah, si. I speak English most excellently. Well, then, tell us what you want and be damn quick about it. We want everything. We're so poor, and we need so much. I'm going to ask you one more time. What do you want? We want your wagons, your horses, your guns, and your gold. You also have some women, senor. <laughs> this fool's serious. You can bet your life on it. Well, it's preposterous. Yeah? I have more men than you. Yeah, and if you want to lose most of them, you come right on ahead. Otherwise, you better hightail your ass right on out of here. I'll fight a thousand of them before I give you a penny. I was hoping you'd say that. The flap on your holster snapped or unsnapped, my Confederate friend? Snapped, my Yankee friend. Well, then I guess I'm his pigeon. <laughs> Why did you have to shoot the man? Conversation kind of dried up, ma'am. 